Okay, so welcome back to another, you know, tutorial. And on this one, we're going to talk about the buttons uh, that we get. So, okay, right now, uh, this is the sound I'm going to be working with. I'm going to kind of reuse the same thing we did on the uh, other video, the previous video with macros. I'm going to go and play this one. This is the polysynth. Pretty simple. And we get a delay and a reverb. Just a stock delay and reverb. Pretty simple stuff. It's just a NARP. So, okay, let's talk about the buttons. Uh, I'm going to go right here. And whenever we go, we get the button, or we get the buttons. We're going to talk about this. So first, I'm going to go and add a button. So this one, what it will do, is just a button. It's going to toggle something on, off, or it's going to toggle something off and on and back and forward. So if I go, and I map this to something, I'm going to go and maybe map it to, I don't know, something we can really hear. It's just going to be the filter. As soon as I turn it on, it's going to go up by that amount, and when I turn it off, it's going to go back to the original position. Right? It's that simple. So maybe I want to do a little bit more resonance, and we can map different things to the same button, and we can do many things at the same time. We can turn off and on. So if you ask me maybe what, you know, this, why this could be, uh, I don't know, useful. Of course, if we make a right click, we can delete the uh, linking to that. Let's say that I like the sound of this uh, synth, but sometimes the notes are just a little bit too large. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to make it shorter. Something like, something like that. Right. But I don't want to change the whole vibe because maybe I like the... Like the, maybe the whole sustain, or maybe I'm gonna do it with a filter, so it's a bit obvious. It's larger, shorter. So since I like this one, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go down right here. So now when I'm making a track and I'm, you know, I'm just doing a track and I'm playing with sounds, and maybe I want to know how something sounds with something, I know that I can try different different vibes of the same of the same instrument. And just see how they, they work on, on the track. Or maybe you have a section, like a chorus or something, where you need to go down. Well, this is, you know, perfect for that. You're just going to go down um, at one click. Now, another thing that you can do, and I'm going to go back to the previous example. I'm going to go and map the button to the filter. Just maybe something like that. It's just going to be cool. And maybe something like that. Okay, so I'm going to go and do play again. I'm gonna go off, on, or on and off. And notice I'm turning this on and off, and we get kind of a modulation. All right, so we can use the button as a modulation source. So I'm gonna go and bring the good old beat LFO, and when we uh, kind of uh, sync this to uh, the uh, the button, this one, what it will do behind the scenes, is just gonna turn it off. Right now, if I uh, map it and go all the way down, I'm turning it off with this one. But I wanna do, I want to turn it on because it's already off. So I'm gonna go and say, I want to turn it on. And this is just gonna do the trick. Notice it's on and off, on and off every single time. Of course, we can smooth. And you know, if you think about this, the sky is your limit. You can, you can go right here and do a lot of modulation. Maybe you want to do a little bit of unison right here. Maybe you want to change a little bit of the sub. And this is going to change the whole sound. You get a completely different synth. So this is what the button is going to do. It's going to just toggle something in, something on, and then something off. Then you get the other one, and I'm going to go and delete this, and I'm going to bring a new one, which is going to be the buttons. So now what you get is you get an A and a B. And we can use them the same way we, uh, you know, we use the other ones, the, the other one. We can go right here and say, okay, so this is going to be my filter and my, uh, and my resonance, right? And the B is going to be my envelope. So I'm going to go and just, I don't know, change something on the envelope. So now what we can do with this ones is that I can just toggle this on 
and this one as well. So now we're gonna we're getting a combination of both. But uh, at any point, I can just maybe disable the filter one and just use the envelope. So now you can you can choose between these two, or you know both off, both on, or one on and the other one off, and back and forward. So what we can do uh, again, we can do the same trick we've been doing with the uh, with the LFO, right? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set this one to on. So the LFO, whenever this one is on, I'm gonna go down and it's gonna turn it off. So now it's turning it on and off and on and off. Now on this one, since it's off, I'm gonna go up. Uh, let me just go here. I'm gonna go up, and this one is gonna do the uh, you know the opposite. Every every time that this one is off or this is on, uh, it's going to do one or the other one. So we get one or the other one. So we're just kind of uh, you know toggling between between the A and B, and this is gonna give you a different different sound and we're gonna you know go crazy why not really crazy maybe I'm gonna go and change the shape maybe you do a little bit of delay a little bit more reverb And now you get a very complex sound that you just cannot do, and we're just doing this with a simple LFO and a button. How stupid is that? All right. So you know, with Bitwig and uh, Im imagination and creativity and exploration, actually, it's not not just creativity. It's something that you learn. You know, now that you know what it does, you just can go and play around with this and get different sounds. And maybe when you start making track or when you make a track, you're gonna you're gonna you know what this does, and you're gonna just just play around. And if you get something that works on your track, cool. And if if it's just not working, you try something else. But notice that know that we we have these tools available. And even though they are simple, just like a ton, uh, toggle switch on and off. It just can create a very different sound that could change the vibe of your track. Or make or break your track. All right. So another thing that you can do, uh, didn't show you, I'm gonna go to this one and you can go, whenever you select it, you can go to modulator and toggle, you know, active on and off. So now he's off. I'm gonna go and bring a button just like this. And what you can do uh, sometimes that, you know, could be helpful, uh, you can map this button to different effects. So I'm gonna go right here, and I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be turning uh, the delay. Now, right now he's on, so if I go down, it's gonna be off on this one, right? I'm gonna just turn off that effect. And I'm gonna do the same uh, on the reverb. So this is a nice way you can just toggle different effects very useful all right so that's it that's the uh, you know these are the buttons so hopefully you learn something and maybe you're going to use them in the future remember to like the video to subscribe and check patreon because everything i've released right here is going to be released on patreon weeks days or months after it's here on youtube because on youtube i can do only one video a day that's how it works with subscriptions and, you know, the whole YouTube thing. So, okay, so see you on the next one.